last week because clearly the president did have plans to mark the anniversary oh, of yes. the 2020 campaign. Yes, launch. and I and I and I uh, uh, congratulated you for being incredibly clever with the question. Yes, we I probably, remember. We're try again. <laughs> okay, um, here we go. When did the president make this personal decision that now was the time? Uh, to announce, and, and you know, what was the factor that the tip the scale here? So again, going to be very careful here. 2024 election. I actually don't have anything to share, uh, 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 like behind the scenes on his decision making. Uh, I think the president spoke to this himself when he was asked uh, before today uh, about his intention to run uh, and his plans to run. Um, and so I will refer you back to what he has said more explicitly when he had those interviews. So I don't, again, don't want to say uh, say much more than that from here. Sure, but this is a question about like, his personal decision, not, not politics. I mean. No, I totally understand. I don't have anything to share on that. I would refer you to totally understand, like, what was his de decision? What was his thinking process? I would certainly refer you to the tour. Does the yeah. president um, plan to serve all eight years? I'm not. I'm just not going to get ahead of the president. That's something for him to decide. I'm just not going to get ahead of it. And we're, there's a 2024 uh, campaign. Anything related to that, I would refer you to that. Okay. Was a factor in his decision uh, to run for re-election, and if so, in what way uh, it influenced his decision? So, look, I'm not going to get into the per the president's personal uh, dis decision making that he made. Uh, Again, anything like that, I would refer you to uh, the 2024 campaign. So I want to be very mindful there. Uh, but again, not going to get it's into. It's a presidential decision, though, and you keep calling it a campaign decision. The president has to decide to enter the campaign. That's a presidential decision. Again, I'll refer you to 2024 campaign. Go ahead. The president uh, is 80 years old. This man never elected. Would be 86 at the end of his second term. Our CBS News poll this morning shows that only 22 percent of Democratic leading voters are excited about the prospect of uh, President Biden running for re-election. I want to ask you this. As a young man, when he was coming of age, uh, the president who was inaugurated in 1961 said that it was time to, that a torch had been passed to a new generation. Why has President Biden not decided to pass the torch at this point? Why does he still want to hold it? You know, when it comes to age, it's the same thing that we heard in 2020, right? We heard that over and over in 2020. And, uh, and if you look at what the president has done this past two years, He's been able to deliver and get things done, right? Where Republicans are trying to, Republicans in Congress, Republicans on the other side of Pennsylvania, are, to, are trying to pull us back, not move us forward. Uh, and that, you know, you know, Republicans in Congress have not. They literally have not been able to get things done. And so I want to be very clear about that. As it relates to the polls, again, mindful of the 2024 election, and we understand what the polls are saying. Um, I will say this, in 2022, let's not forget, more Americans voted uh, for this president than any other president in history. And, uh, and let's not forget, in 2022, the midterms election, against all odds, right? Against everything that we were being told, that this president had one of the most successful midterm elections for a Democratic president in 60 years. And we were able to stop that red wave. That did not happen. And we were able to hold on uh, to the Senate. And so that's what I lay out, and that's how I will deal with the question that you just asked me. Go ahead. Green, on the re-elect specifically, can you tell us when and how you learned that the president was going to announce he was seeking another term? Just like all of you. You learned about from the video this Just morning? Just like all of you. This, I, am, I am not uh, from this perch, from being a government official. Uh, I uh, cannot talk about 2024. I'm not involved in the reelect. And I learned just like all of you this morning at 6 a.m. I ask you broadly yeah, about the sure. theme uh, that the president has been speaking of, not just uh, today, but since really since the start of the year, this idea of finishing the job. Yeah. Um, can you explain what it means? I mean, you know, the president's powers are limited. His term in office is limited. What is the job? How could any president finish it? So look, I, well, I, the president talked to, has talked about this many times, including members of his administration. You heard him talk about it during uh, the State of the Union, finishing, finishing the job. Look, he ran and won on his agenda in 2020. And so you're, oh, you're going to continue to hear him say this. He, say, he said this the past, the past year or the past several months. Uh, and he believes it's a way to communicate with the American people. It's to communicate to let them know that we are, we are, con we are going to do the job in finishing up the agenda that he laid out in 2020.